Okay, it's August 29th, 2019, and I'm going to show you our hummingbird butterfly garden. Uh, butterflies in the sense of monarchs and milkweed. Uh, a good mature stand of it. Like here's some mature milkweed right here, a good stand of it by the front door um, with some elephant ears. And there's a bottle brush tree. That's all this is about nine years old, nine to ten years old. The milkweed will start to reseed after a year or two and you won't have to worry about planting any more of that because it'll start to reseed. Uh, we took some small plants and planted them over here along the neighbors and so they have some milkweed growing here. Here's a really nice hummingbird bush that uh, you can see here they grow in and take a nice shape. The uh, Hummingbirds really like it. And here's a monarch right here feeding on a bottle brush tree. Here's one right here. There you go. There's a monarch. He's feeding on it. There you go. Feeding on a bottle brush. So even though it's not their host plant it, they really like it a lot they come around here to the front there you go there he is and uh so once you get everything started it's going to be a good food source now, even though it's not their host plant they're going to feed on it you got a lot of bumblebees here honeybees all over it you can see the honeybees let me back up and there are the bottle brush trees in the front yard oh there's a hummingbird right there yeah. and there goes another monarch so they've got the hummingbird feeding on the bottle brushes also there's one right there Anyway, we'll move around to the back. And so let's go around here. On the side yard where the sidewalk is, there's another stand of milkweed. And like I want to tell you, when the caterpillars strip these stalks like this, see it stripped? You're going to get fresh growth on it. So don't cut it down just because it's stripped. See this fresh growth coming out? See this? See this little fresh growth that's going to come out like that and then it's going to get bigger and you're going to get fresh leaves caterpillars the monarchs are going to lay their eggs on this and the caterpillars are going to eat these leaves strip them again okay this happens all summer and then the caterpillars are going to go up and form a chrysalis so here's another hummingbird bush right here see all these strip See this strip milkweed? Sorry about the air conditioning. And there's the uh, fresh growth on the milkweed plants right there. Just leave it alone, it'll grow the plants back. See that? See that fresh growth? There's little tiny leaves coming out on this one. And we'll go back here, it's gonna be a little noisy. There's some sage and ferns. Here's another hummingbird bush. Another hummingbird bush. and more bottle brush trees sorry about the air conditioning another hummingbird bush and here there's a monarch right there oh gee and they're pretty uh, protective of their area so they get after one another all the time and there's another one Another hummingbird bush. There's some sage and salvia and some milkweed that so will go over here and show you this corner where we've got some pride of Barbados. Um, another hummingbird bush. Uh, there's a uh, gulf fertility right there flying around. 
And the monarchs don't particularly like anything else. They chase everything away. Hummingbirds, they get after the birds. They're, they're pretty protective about what's going on. Uh, down here we've got some vitex. And we've got some more bushes down here. And here we have some Durantha. You'll see a, uh, there's a golf fertility right there. Mm-hmm. And some Durantha over here. And here's a monarch right here. Okay. Feeding on the Vitex. So it's not their host plant, but it's good to have these things to support the larger system. Oh, I hear a chickadee. And there's a monarch, and here's a gulf artillery flying around, so. There's a monarch right there. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple more chasing each other. Oh, we'll swing back around here. Here's a stand of milkweed right here behind the grill. There's a golf artillery flying around. And then you've got a hummingbird bush, more Durantha. Uh, Pride of Barbados, which the butterflies really like. There's a hummingbird right there. Yeah. Hang on, where'd he go? There he is. There he is, right there. There he is. And then we've got some monarchs here flying around. There's one here. Mm -hmm. There's the hummingbird. Right there. Where'd he go? There he is. There's a the hummingbird right there. Mm-hmm. So once you get a lot of these plants planted, you got to give it some years to mu to mature. There's the monarchs chasing each other, of course. That's all the time. But they will stay here all summer. And it's the different generations. You got first generation, second, third, and then the fourth generation monarch here. That's the one that's going to migrate to uh, Mexico. Oh, there's a monarch right there. That was. There we go. They're flying around, doing their thing. And we'll go down here to this corner and show you that down in this corner we have. more of the uh, sage and uh, see it right there you gotta have a good bird bath shallow not deep there you go we have cardinals and there's a uh, lantana and more sage and another hummingbird bush and more milkweed here and another stand of mature milkweed here um, don't worry about how it looks, but once they strip it, leave it alone, and the hummingbirds and the monarchs will come back to the garden all the time, but the big thing is the milkweed for the monarchs, and, uh, getting it going. It's going to take a few years to get your stuff going. There goes one right there. And, uh, there's a wren. So anyway, that's, uh, what you want to do. Plant your milkweed, get started, and help the monarch butterflies. Because they need our help. 
Signing off from Porter, Texas.